Hello and welcome to BMedium Revit Tutorials. In today's tutorial I will show you a presentation of elevations and sections in Revit. This will be one more video about that topic. I will show you also the uh, just to tell you the background image I use for this elevation present uh, elevation view you can find in the description and comments of this video. Uh, here I will show you uh, how to create this uh, this frame here how to create the line of topography this line of topography here how to create it wider than other lines how to make depth of this video how to add image and uh, how to create this presentation of sheet also with isometric view now let's start I will go on uh, duplicated view, elevation view of this uh, facade. And first we will add the, uh, just to tell you here uh, how to create, how to place these elevation tags on this side. Usually we have elevation views something like this and uh, uh, elevation tags are on the right side usually. Uh, you just need to click here to uh, select or deselect and this elevation tag, level tag will appear or disappear. And by clicking on, on this blue dot here you can move this on this side and your uh, elevation view will be clear. All right, now let's add the background image. Now we go on graphic display options, background. From here we can change it as a sky. You know already that gradient. Or image, we will go on image I use for this. tutorial here we have image for sky all right when I edit it will be something like this or we have image for trees when I add them it will be something like this but here you can see our uh, uh, model is uh, that there is a lot of difference bet between the between the image uh, from background and between the model. So what we need to do, we will add some shadows. All right, and we will add some depth on this. And now you see the difference between the image background image and and the uh, model now is uh, uh, is is better, I think. All right. What else we can do? We can change the depth. All right. Now it's, it looks better. Also, for this tutorial, you can use images created for other projects. For example, if you have other projects. With background images you can use them and it can look for example this is one project uh, that I found on, on the on the internet and I really don't know <laughs> uh, who is the creator of this of this project but I use it for this presentation I, because we have here the bird silhouettes the sky background and the trees just by moving the image up or down you can change the visibility uh, I mirrored this picture sometime I need for, the, the, for, for these trees to be on the right side so I will use this one for this presentation and it will be look some it will look something like this all right or 
uh, the, I think the better is to use the trees on the left side of this house because we don't know we don't want for house to be visible all right that's it for the background image should we leave this or should we use the trees for this tutorial let's leave trees here let's imagine that this house is in the in the mountains with the uh, tree surroundings all right and now uh, let make this topography line wider than other lines we will go on visibility graphic settings topography and from here we will select solid black line and 7 for white and that's it what's left to create this frame here we will use from annotation region tool and we will create using a rectangular we will create this 20 centimeter on this side first and we will make it uh, 40 centimeter on other side I do it this way by clicking on space you can change this let's say it 50 all right and now we will click OK we will have our frame here all right this is ready now we will go to create the sheet uh, we will create new sheet by clicking on the right click all right uh, let it be this or from from here we will select this sheet this title blocks all right uh, copy to the clipboard and we will go on our new sheet and we will change it by going to modify and paste it to current view all right and you can click right click and from here you can add the view you want it will be this one we will add it here all right I will move it by clicking on the arrow on the clipboard all right and now uh, I will go to 3D view uh, where here is the 3D view I will duplicate it with detailing all right and by clicking here I want for section box to be visible and I will unhide it all right and I will change the part that, you, that this section box cut all right I will change the background to white none all right now I will go to our sheet we can change the name of the sheet from here all right and I will now I will show different way to add the drawings to the sheet for all those that 
don't have experience with Revit. From here we will change the scale. Alright. Now to be able to fit to this uh, title block I will change the scale by custom for example 75 sorry uh, 150 And my, by playing uh, with scale of this uh, axonometry view, you can change it as you need it. All right, by moving uh, it left or right, up and down, it will fit to this uh, title block. Now I will hide the section box and that's it our drawing is ready all right dear friends this is all for this tutorial uh, please don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your friends and colleagues and also you can find the background images uh, in the description and the comments of this video See you in the next tutorial.